So as you know, if you watched the previous video, the microphone stopped working towards the end. So I have come back for a second visit to the Safari Zoo. And hopefully today we shall see some big cats and hopefully my microphone won't stop working. So stay tuned and I'll see you inside. We have arrived. It's not as busy today either. And it looks like it might actually be better weather today. So fingers crossed, let's get going. Enjoy the video. So guys and girls, we are booked in. We're just on our way down to the reindeers, see the reindeers again. And once we've been to the reindeers, we're gonna make our way up back up towards the Africa house. Hopefully this time the meerkats will be out. That's what I'm hoping anyway. I'm testing out some new equipment today as well. Uh, I've got a three axis gimbal now, so hopefully this should be a little bit better. And we can see them a bit clearer today. So a few facts, as antlers grow, uh, back they are covered with velvet. We regularly strip the velvet off our antlers. And when this happens, our antlers can look quite messy and red. You might see head button, the twigs in our enclosure. Uh, to help us strip them sooner. So, let's take a look. So, this is the reindeers. Aren't they lovely? Absolutely fantastic. Look. Hello, Mr. Reindeers. Shall we see if we can tell them? Absolutely fantastic. Absolutely brilliant. Hello, reindeers. So let's take a walk up now, up the hill. This is the play park I tried to show you the other day when I came. Absolutely fantastic look. This guys is the cafe, which we're gonna take a look at as well later. So now I have become a member for 12 months and basically I get a free map when I come in. I get 10% off in the shop, 10% off on all of the cafes and a few other things I think. Oh, there's a members event once a month. Now I, play, I paid 43.99 online for this. Um, Normally it is £60 for the full 12 months. So hopefully we should get to see some meerkats now with a bit of luck. So let's have a look at this. Let's take a walk up here then. See if we can see any meerkats about. Can't see any. So yeah, we came the other day and my microphone stopped working. So we've ended up coming back. Still in the Easter holidays. Hoping to see some of the animals that we missed the other day, to be honest. I mean, there is signs saying, please don't feed the animals. Uh, these animals will bite. A uh, slender tailed me a cat. Also known as the Suricata Suricata. With a diet of fruit, insects, birds, small mammals and reptiles. Well, I think they're all underground again. I can't see any. Let's take a walk a little bit further. Oh. 
so up here, as we can see, is the giraffe enclosure. It's absolutely lovely. Now, if we time it right, at half past ten, we have got a talk here. There's another one peeping there, look. Let's see if we can see it a bit better. Mr. Peepy Tom. Come on, Mr. Giraffe. Mr. Giraffe. We've just got a tiny talk by the look of it. Let's have a look. How old is she? She is not too sure off the top of my head. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Out here. Can we come on out? I'm clearly loving our pellet too much this morning. <laughs> yeah. We'll go back down that way quickly and we'll go feed them inside. Okay. Absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. So that was the giraffe having a feed. Oh wow, check this out guys. 123 rhinos poached from one reserve in just six, six months. That is absolutely terrible. The rhinos don't look to be out today, but we can get a proper view of the zebras today. And we'll take a walk up whilst we're viewing them. Absolutely beautiful creatures though. Absolutely stunning. I'm a big fan of zebras with them being in the horse family. So South Africa saw a 9,000% rise in rhino poaching between 2007 and 2014. All species of rhinos have been brought to the brink of extinction now because of human appetite for their distinctive horns. Uh, rhino horns are used in traditional Asian medicines as they are believed to hold medicinal and or magical healing properties. And recent studies have found that buyers and users of rhino horn primarily consider it a status symbol. Not very nice, is it? Oh, look at this. Absolutely fantastic. Okay, so now we're going to carry on walking up here.
Beautiful. No right now today, that. <laughs> Not right now, that anyway. Instead of going up there straight to the monkeys this time, they're going to go left here. So the last time I came, we did get a bit of a chat with the honey badger goo, dude. Uh, so, Melivora capensis is the scientific name, literally means honey eater of the Cape. Favourite thing to eat is not actually honey, it's even better if they go for honeybee larvae. Uh, they don't have the best long range hearing, but they are awesome at detecting vibrations and sounds coming from within trees and underground. Highly sensitive noises and communicate mainly using scent and can dig burrows up to three metres long and a metre and a half deep which they use as resting places. They were voted the most fearless animal in the world in the Guinness Book, World Book of Records in 2002 and they can run up to 18 to 19 miles an hour. Absolutely fantastic. So let's take a walk down here. Let's see if we can see the two badgers that we've seen the other day. And they are called Popcorn and Peanut. Can we see them? I don't think we can, not today. Let's have a look in the next one. So originally the like dry habitats. I don't know how much of this you can see on the camera guys, but we are trying. I can't see them anywhere. No, we can't see them anywhere. So they may actually be outside in this thing here. Over here. So this is where we were stood the other day when we were getting a conversation. We've got a lovely little bit on the top today who's yabbering away. We've got kangaroos there. Absolutely fantastic. Well, hopefully, if we come back past in a bit, we should be able to see these badgers if we come back a little bit later on. Right, so what have we got here? We want to go. Is it this way? Um, no, it's near the tigers where we want because. We didn't get the tigers the other day when we came. So, I shall be back in a moment. Just let me grab a couple of pictures here. Now, I'm on my way down. I'm going to take a walk towards the lynxes, the jaguars, tapirs, sloths, lions, and snow leopards. Hopefully, we shall see some big cats. Enjoy. Absolutely brilliant. So in this window, we couldn't really see it clearly the other day, 
but this should have a two-toed slot in it. A bit of work. So let's have a look. I can see the tortoises. Look, absolutely fantastic. Absolutely fantastic, this scenery. I love coming here. It is absolutely beautiful. All right, so let's have a look at these white-handed gibbons then. Let's have a look. Absolutely fantastic. So the white-handed gibbon, um, average weight of a male is 6.3 kilos and a female is 5.6 kilos. They tend to have a lifespan in captivity of up to about 44 years. Where's he gone? They are a herbivore and they like to mainly eat fruit with some insects, leaves and flowers. When they have a baby, they tend to be carrying the baby and they only tend to carry one and they carry it for 223 days. Wow, that is a long time to be pregnant. So they're mostly monogamous in living groups are two to six members. They give birth to one offspring about every three and a half years. The average weight of a newborn is about 400 grams. So it's about half a bag of sugar. After one month, the babies become more coordinated. And at six to eight weeks, they can pull themselves upright and they can kneel and sit. By eight to ten weeks, the infant will begin to climb in approximately four months. They're able to swing with both hands. After two to four months, the baby starts to take some solid food. But weaning is not completed until 20 months old approximately and males are not involved in caring for the young while the females will care for them extensively wow absolutely fantastic right let's have another little bit of a walk down here We're trying to keep an eye on the time because we have got a lima feed booked for 11 o'clock so oh look monkeys are outside on this go and have a look Go and have a look. Hello, monkeys. Absolutely brilliant. Fantastic. And the white handed gibbons and the white monkey that we've seen in the first video is indeed over here. If we take a look, look at this guys. Look, I mean, look how close we are. I mean, I'm stood here, and if I turn it back, I mean, it's like three, four feet away from me. Oh, look at this one over there. Absolutely brilliant. <laughs> Fantastic. Absolutely brilliant. Let's leave these monkeys to eat in the field. Oh, look at this. I didn't see those when I walked past. Absolutely brilliant. Right. I'll take a walk up here then. 
Now I'm really hoping that the tigers and stuff are out. We are going to go into the carnivore bit, but not just yet. <laughs> so we're next to the primate bit, so let's just take a quick look at this map. Yeah, so we're going the right way. So we're going to go past the tiger. In fact, let's go and see the tiger, because I think the tiger is around here. Really want to see the tigers today, because we didn't get the tigers last time we came. It is an absolute real big one this time. Let's go and see. Can't get a good tree. Oh wow, look at this. They have got wolves. Woohoo! Absolutely beautiful. Maned wolf. Absolutely fantastic. Now oh, we were lucky to catch that. I didn't think we were going to catch that. So having a look at a bit of information about them. So the wolf has an average gestation of 65 days and they tend to have three babies. So maned wolves mating period is thought to be linked to light cycles as they breed between October and February in the Northern Hemisphere and between August and October in South America. They are monogamous, meaning that they stay with the same mates throughout their lives, and cubs are born black and change colour as they get older. Cubs depend on their parents to provide them with food for the first year, but will then be fully grown and ready to mate for the next breeding season. Wow, absolutely fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. This is a tapir, guys. Brilliant. Absolutely fantastic. So, so far we've seen a wolf. We've seen monkeys. We've seen giraffes, zebra, wildebeest and a tapir. Carry on watching because we are going to try and see the big cats and also now I'm going to try and find this lemur house for the lemur feed so stand by because the next clip is going to be me feeding the lemurs and having a talk with the guy to do with the lemurs and looking after the lemurs so stand by right so now guys we are on our way down to the lemur house right let's have a see because I am not sure there we go. So we've got otters there, tapirs there. Where is this lemur house? Let's go and have a look. Carnival Country and Ileska's Aviary. I'm really confused. I have no idea. But the wolf is there. I'm really not sure where I'm going here, but it's all part of the fun. No, let's have a look. Let's have a look. Baboons. Right, so that is that. And we've actually come back down near the snow leopards and the wolf now. Right. Let's take a wander down here then. The snow leopard still isn't out, so we will come back to that. And then up here we have the Canadian lynx. So the Canada lynx can spot a mouth 250 weird. 
meters uh, feet away and it's also known as the linked canadensis main food source is native snowshoe hair all right let's have a look then up in the top corner they are beautiful absolutely beautiful beautiful absolutely beautiful <laughs> Here we have all the baboons. Still trying to find this flame in Lima house, which I'm having rather great difficulty in finding. But I really I'm not sure where it is so we may have to go on a hunt because we have 15 minutes now until we're supposed to be feeding lemurs brilliant absolutely brilliant Yes. Sat at the side, but... Absolutely fabulous. <laughs> so we've come in the opposite end this time to what we came in last time. In fact, this is the Lima house. So we made it for the lemur feed. Fantastic. Hello for the lemur feed. Just for one, yeah? Yes. There you are. Thank and you. Then you want to join the back of the queue. Fantastic. Let's get started. <laughs> I've got to put my clothes on. Nice and close. So you literally stand here like this. In this place. Only if you want to close the top, keep it on the floor like this. They know where I want them. They need to be able to you can't even have it anywhere, then they'll be following the thing around the field or around the place. So they know they're only getting it. Um, if you've got quite a few of them, and it looks like one of them is getting it, then try and get it. Please, you know what's next one to the other That's their hierarchy. They're all going to get plenty of food at the end of the day anyway, so um, this is all for you guys. Uh, but all that everybody hates is you can't stroke them, I'm afraid, guys. So we're just in the queue now waiting to go and feed the lemurs. So enjoy. Then we also have the three hybrids that you'll see running around here. So we've come in now and we're going to do this lima feeding. I mean, this is absolutely fantastic, guys. I mean, look at this. 
Look how close we're getting to them. Fantastic. Oh, you guys turned up as well. Oi! Get out! Oh, look at that. That's nice. Let's try that again. Oh, absolutely fantastic. You got one more there, mate. Thank you. <laughs> Billy, can you have me on back? <laughs> Thank you. Absolutely brilliant. Superb. Absolutely superb. So guys, that was us feeding the lemurs. That was really interesting. Right. Now I'll take a walk through a little bit more of a, an area now. Um, and we're going to go up the other way. Let's have a look around there. We're going to have a peacock in the distance, look. Fantastic. Mm. Oh, I'm walking up here. So now, I'm from a different way around this time. All the birds. Oh, I'm walking up here. And see what we're doing. Oh, look, that's a barrel. If you remember from the last video, guys, this was where the swans, ostriches, and things were. And lemurs running around that. You're welcome. <laughs> Ostriches have come out today. <laughs> Thank you. So this time guys, by the look of it, the kangaroos are out in the bank and spread out a bit so you can actually see them all. If you look over there, there is a baby. Absolutely fantastic. And this one's really near to the fence. Absolutely beautiful. Beautiful.
Now, this is the baby kangaroo I was trying to show you the other day. Absolutely beautiful. One's gone near the fence, look. It's absolutely brilliant. Oh, baby. Absolutely beautiful. Listen. Carry on walking. No, it's all mucky today. It's all squelchy with it having been raining. Go back down near the entrance and then get some food. So we have just paused for a moment as I needed a little bit of a rest. My poor feet are absolutely killing them after all that walking. And I picked quite a nice place to take a seat, I think. I think, guys. I think it's absolutely beautiful. Not only that, I need to charge my phone a little bit because we're down to, I think it's 10%. And I thought I'd have a drink as well. And just enjoy some of this scenery so yeah if you haven't seen part one to this video please go and take a look it is on my channel <laughs> we were here two days ago but unfortunately my microphone decided it wanted to stop working so i decided to come back and do another video hopefully well i mean we've picked up quite a few animals that we didn't have 
in the first video so so now we're going to take another walk through the open water. oh look the paddocks are there it wasn't out there day in the pen oh they're all out today thank you Oh, you can show me. Yeah, I'm to be this one absolutely fantastic my course absolutely beautiful That before is beautiful. Honestly, every time you come to a place like this, it is different every time you come. Absolutely fantastic. Absolutely brilliant. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Absolutely fantastic. We didn't see them flying around us, so it's nice to see. Beautiful. Oh, yeah, it's spoon belt. Beautiful. Beautiful. Right. Let's go through this gate. Hey, if you want. <laughs> and we'll carry on through here. And if you've watched my first video, you'll already know what we're seeing in now. But, as you can see, the different birds that are in there. Right. Let's go and have a quick look at this panda. So I wander up here and see if we can see it. When I came the other day, it was sat outside. However, I don't think that's going to be the case today. But we can have a look. See if we can see him. So red pandas were actually first discovered in 1825. 48 years before the giant panda which is why some of us or some people call them the first panda so the red fur blends in with the moss found on the trees where we live 
and the black bellies make it difficult for predators to spot us when they look up into the trees. And I can't see him today. I cannot see him. And perhaps come back when we've had some lunch. I'm going to go and grab some lunch now. And we're going to go to Thai Bowls and have a belly buster. So I'll stick around. I'll be back once I've been served in, in Thai Bowls. Actually, actually, I thought so we'll go and see if the tiger's out because the tiger is on the way to Thai Bowls. So let's go and have a look. Let's go and see if we can spot this tiger today because the other day when I came, we couldn't see no tigers. And then my mic died, so we didn't really get a chance to see anything. But look at this, room in the tree. <laughs> Absolutely fantastic. Right. Let's have a wander down here then. Right. Let's uh, have a wander down here. This is Thai balls. So I thought the tiger thing would come first, but no, Thai balls is first. So I'm going to nip in here, grab some food, and I'll catch you once I've got food. Right, so we've had some lunch. We're sat in Thai balls, as we can see. We are sat in Thai balls. And I had sausage, chips, cheese and gravy. It was absolutely fantastic, so I give it a 5 ball rating. And now we're going to go and see some tigers and some lions and hopefully a jaguar. And then we'll finish off with the badges and hopefully we'll catch that talk again. Right, so as you can hear it is windy. And this is the tiger enclosure. But we're going to have to see if Mr. Tiger is around. So when we come the other day, and so far today, I haven't seen him. <laughs> Even if we don't get a photo, a brief encounter would be nice. Be nice if we get to see him, but I don't know if we will get to see him. But we can have a look around. His enclosure. Let's see how we get on. This on the right hand side is his enclosure. Or her enclosure. Let's just see if we can spot him. Adopt an animal. Choose your favourite animal and adopt one today in the gift shop. Fantastic. Let's have a wander down here, guys. We are almost done. We've been here all day. The wolves were out earlier. We've seen them previously in the video. Let's have a walk up here then now. Put this back on. And hopefully we should be alright for sound. With a bit of luck. Alright. Let's go. Let's go up here then. Wow, absolutely fantastic. Let's have a wander. 
Oh, this hill's steep. <sighs> right. I'll catch you when I get to the top. Yes, guys, is the Jaguars. <laughs> Mm, a little bit more of a, a walk up. Let's see what we can. That's the Jaguars. <laughs> the other one appears to have gone in. So guys and girls, that is it for our trip this time. We haven't seen any lions, but we did get to see the Jaguars. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. The button below, hit the bell. Then you can be notified for any further videos that I do. Anywhere else you'd like me to visit or anything you want me to answer questions wise or any information that you'd like, please feel free to comment on my video. It does help my channel. Other than that, thank you very much for watching. She was out. And now it's just a short walk out down to the shop. I'll take some photos of the shop. Stay tuned for the next one. Not sure where we're going to be going in the next one yet. But stay tuned because it will be good. So, very busy here. Let's have a walk around to the main entrance then. I wonder what he's taking for.